What's up, y'all? Back with another video. Now, this video, we're going to talk about baby daddies. Now, if you probably watched uh, my other videos, you probably already know that I talk spiritually. You know, facts, the truth. And some of you might have questions. Uh, why? <clears throat> you may be in a predicament where you can't find a man that want to take care of you and your kids. A.K.A. baby daddy that leaves. But I make these videos for people that have questions that they need to be answered, that they want to be answered. And for some way, shape or form, I could be able to help them understand why the world is how it is, and the way their life is how it is, spiritually. So, today's video is going to be your baby daddy is an unclean spirit. Now, like, have your mom or friend or sibling ever told you you better be careful who you sleep with? Because you really don't know who you're sleeping with. A lot of you don't know the person, and you've been with them for two or three years, five years, seven years, eight years, and you still don't really know them. They're still hot and stuff. You still don't know uh, the things they like, if their favorite color changed, what they like to do now, what they don't like to do, what they do and don't like in a relationship. So you don't know the person. And just to have somebody that just, like, a friends with benefits or somebody just messing around with. And then, it could be a husband, too. You can have a husband as an unclean spirit as well. Maybe he was cool at first and he got worse over time. And that could deal with your babies coming out kind of slow. I mean, you add drugs with it. Things you shouldn't have been doing. It could affect the baby too. But it's the the spirits that a person is filled with many unclean spirits. And you run around your baby you know, come out a little slow. One arm short, shorter than the other arm you know, might have one less of an organ. Uh, it can be many different things. And most of the time, who you combine yourself with. Because the scripture that says in the Bible that when two have sex, they become one person. So if you become have sex with somebody... You become one with that person, spiritually and physically. So if somebody have an unclean spirit, and your spirit probably unclean too, or you might not be as bad as them, and you can bind yourself with them. It's like a fusion. Like, I don't know some of you probably watched Dragon Ball Z before, but it was spiritual because they was fighting Manjin Buu. Y'all can go look this up on Dragon Ball Z. They was fighting Manjin Buu. And it was one character named Goku and the other one named Vegeta. They sons had to fuse together to become one person. To be a, like a better person, a stronger person. Like basically, you know, molded together to become stronger. You know, when you're in a relationship with somebody, you become stronger. You become financially stronger. 
Now you got two people that's bringing in income instead of you just bringing in income. It could be two people trying to figure out a decision instead of you just figuring out the decision by yourself. So you got to be careful who you sleep with because it could be many problems. You could have a baby that come out not so healthy. You'd be like, man, I should never slept with him. He's a deadbeat. He was on drugs anyway. He used to smoke all the time. And, you know, he used to, you know what I'm saying? Like, ink, unclean spirit. And when your baby daddy is an unclean spirit, you find your, you find him don't want to take care of the baby. Most of the time, he just wants sex from you. He end up leaving. He want other girls. He's not really committed. You got to open up your mind to deceiving words. You have to know when somebody deceiving you, when somebody's telling you the truth. And it take practice. It take learning. People say you learn from your mistakes. But a lot of people don't learn from their mistakes. They keep falling into the same mistake and don't know how to beat that mistake. So that's why I make these videos. So you can get an idea how to beat these mistakes and don't go back because all you're doing is making your life harder and tougher and life is already hard as it is so if you're not learning from these mistakes you fall into the same trap over again the same old words the guy say the same old words to you and you just oh i believe you i believe him this time and it's so my your your brain can't can't handle it when you think like man is every dude the same? Is all the dudes I talk to the same? So sometimes you might have to go out of your variety of dudes, your comfort of dudes, to find a dude that's you want. A lot of people just stay in their variety. Oh, I don't dig blacks. Oh, I don't dig white. Oh, I don't dig Mexican. But you keep finding the same culture of dudes. This not for everybody because everybody could be uh, different. The same type of dudes you pick is the same old do bag, douchebag that you're getting. You laying down with it, breaking your heart, stealing your money, or just being lazy. You feel like you're being used and abused all the time. So you got to be careful who you lay down with because you could be laying with it. Most of the time, people lay down with an unclean spirit. They don't want nothing for you. They won't. They don't want to take care of you. They don't want to take care. They don't want to take care of the kids, but they tell you in air all these wicked things. It's coded. Oh, I'm gonna take care of the kids. I'm gonna buy you this or this. It's coded. They tell you one thing, but if you read through the lines, they say, No, I don't. I just want your pennies. No, I don't. I'm just lonely. I just need somebody. No, I don't. I haven't had sex in a while. I just need something. I just need some sex. It's coded. And most of the time, you can tell how somebody is the first time you meet them. People give it away when you first meet somebody. Is there an angry person, a sad person, a person that likes to smile, a person that like to not like to smile, a person that likes to joke too much or play too much, a person that's, you know, different person. You can, you can sit down and stare at somebody or just keep looking at them. You can start knowing stuff about them. But you having sex that's blinding you so much you forget the whole fool of a person the how they are and who they are and what they've been through and what bad messages they throwing at you and you just a fool to just take the bad messages and capture them like okay i'm gonna take you how you is you bad i don't care now i made another video about that about you just low standing yourself and not giving yourself what you deserve in your life you taking anything. And a lot of people see people that, man, it been a while. This dude is still the same. This dude is still cool. He quiet. He stay to himself. He in his own. And you see these people, and you don't attack these people. You don't try to get to know these people. You don't try to be with these people. Like, you know, I'm going to this. I'm gonna get this guy a chance. He cool. You, don't, you, you talk to him, see what type of music he like. Is music play a big role in a person's personality? Music does. What he like to listen to? How strong is he in this level? Is he mature in this level? Is he not mature in this level? 
It's like people, it's like y'all women like have guys that's friends for a long time and still don't know him. And it's like, what are you doing through all this time saying, hey, what you doing? Oh, you at work? Okay, I'm about to go to sleep. I'm at the store right now. I miss you. You real cute. It's like, that's all y'all do to like three months, four months, five months. It's like you you wasting time. Like why have a guy's a friend? You're like I need to figure out if I want to be with him or not. Stop looking at financial stuff. It be you know you be blessed if you find somebody that had a financial or stable too. You know you'll be you should be thankful for that. But all the time it's not about money. But it could go vice versa with guys too. But you got to be careful. Y'all women got to be careful who you sleep with because you can sleep sleep with unclean spirits. And the more you sleep with unclean spirits, the more spirits you just gathering up. They build in the house. They bring in more evil spirits. And there's a scripture in the Bible that says, a spirit go out and fire seven more evil spirits uh, worse than they himself. And they all come inside and they live there. That's their home. That's their castle. Look up the scriptures. But I'm probably gonna I'm gonna think about making another video about the vice versa. Uh with men and women. But y'all stay tuned for the next video. Catch y'all later.